Okay, so I started this video three different times. This was the original time? No. This is my third attempt, which actually worked. So, uh, yeah. APG Jamie here. And today we're bringing you journal burritos. So, like I said, I had my first sheet of paper and I was just going to make two burritos for a swap. Okay, a Facebook swap. Then when I went to edit my video, I found out that the very first part didn't get recorded. I'm like, what the heck, Batman? So, I went back out there, got another sheet of paper, and did the first part again, which is this here cutting to size thing, okay? And then I went to put that on my editing software, and I'm like, what the heck, Batman? I did it again. So, we came for a third time, which worked. I show you the actual cutting part, which is kind of important. Now, there's a link in the description box to Pam of the Paper Outpost, her direct video for making the uh, burritos, okay, on her channel is in the description box. It won't let me put it in the iCards, but you know, there you go. So, anyways. I cut mine. She did hers differently to make her square because you want to start off with the square. The bigger your square, the bigger your burrito. Okay? It's like the tortilla you're starting with. Okay? The bigger it is, the bigger the burrito or the taco or whatever you're putting in your tortilla. Any hoots. This time I rounded the corners. The very first time, the two that are in the swap, <coughs> excuse me, they didn't get rounded till later. Anyway, if you're going to ink your edges, ink them now. If you're going to sew around your edges, sew them before you close them up. Because you can't, can't sew them when they're closed up. Anywho, I wanted to use uh, these pretty marbly type papers. These are actually my marbly card stocks that I did after Lisa of... Uh, Lisa's Eclectic Life. The link to that video on how to marble these papers is in the description box below as well. Okay. I know there's a lot of linkies. Linky love, y'all. Shout outs. Any hoots. I took my book page, which happens to be in Spanish. I'm pretty sure it was Spanish. I can't read it, but it looks like Spanish. And I'm adhering that down with uh, golden matte medium to my cardstock. Normally I would use glue, but because my mar I did not iron my marbled papers, they're kind of bumpy. Hey, can y'all? Hey, can more? So this is actually the two burritos for the swap. Because <laughs> we, you know, I ended up with so many extra burrito pieces that I just went ahead and turned it into a card lottery. You really only see me making two for the uh, swap, the Facebook swap. And that was back in uh, late July. Yeah. Anyway, so, lotteries for September, because that's what that's going to go, going to be. You want, when you fold it over, you want to kind of fold it over uh, on, di on the, you definitely want to fold it on the diagonal. You, uh, if you're going to sew it, sew it before you do this part. And you want to glue your little flap right there shut. Or, if you're really clever, you could put a fastener on there. and Or snap or whatever kind of thing. But, theoretically, they're glued shut. Okay, theoretically. And be careful not to glue it down to the background. Now, I thought I would decorate the little wing part here. Okay, so I'm trimming off the excess or the extra uh, little book page over there. I'm thinking I'm going to, uh, you know, put it on there. And then I'm like, well, that covers up all my pretty paper. Because the premise is to actually glue the burrito into your journal. I don't know personally that I would do that because the back of the paper is so dang pretty. Anyway. I'm doing this. This will show you kind of how to uh, make the little extra flippy flap decoration. I'm getting a slight humming, y'all. Apology. Apo I apology. Um, so, uh, 
crazy. It's me. In case you want to do that. It's cute. And you could even use a different uh, type of book page so you'll have different fonts going on. But I thought, well, that just covers up way too much of my pretty paper. Now, if you had uh, not so pretty paper, this would be perfect. <laughs> or what you think is not so pretty paper. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Anyway, this is a peach colored. And I did my marbled papers with um, acrylic uh, type. Was it? I don't remember. I think it was acrylic sort of like washes and I have uh, it's got some shimmer to it so I probably used uh, back when I made my, I don't think I filmed it um, <clears throat> excuse me probably glimmer mist or something like that any hoodles ink the edges first if you're if you're going to ink the edges now I'm pulling out my coffee coffee ink coffee ink not a cup of coffee not a cup of and um, this is the leftover bit from cutting the square. I thought, well, we're going to make it a tag. And like I said, I didn't iron my marbled paper, so they are bumpy and textury. So I don't know how well it's going to stamp, but it's fine enough. It's good enough, y'all. So, and y'all saw I rounded those corners. I cut, you want to cut your, if you're going to use your excess piece of card inside the burrito you want to make sure it slides in there uh, not too loose and not too you, you want to make sure it's able to slide in there because you know it can get kind of stuffed now I got this world die and I'm not sure if I listed each die in the description box below the video or if it just says miscellaneous dies I don't, I don't remember y'all it's been an issue again. So, uh, any hoots, there is a list of ingredients in the description box below. Click on the phrase. Show more to see more information. And um, the stamps, I can tell you, I, I don't know who any of these stamps are by. But I liked them, so I used them. Because I kind of went with a, a sort of a travelish type theme ish they can be themed they don't have to be themed these are kind of muted colors because that was the color of my marbled papers but you could definitely use some bright papers you can do whatever you want to y'all you can use uh pam of the paper outpost used uh a doubled up book page where she just glued uh two book pages together okay so and mine's thicker because of the cardstock, and then I put a big page on top. Now I have these uh, tags; they're pre-made, store-bought tags in a little booklet thingy. I don't know what they called, and I thought they went perfectly with this, so I pulled a couple of them out because these these two that I show you are for the swap. There'll be three pictures at the end that show the uh, ones that will be in the card that are in the card lottery and are already gone by the time y'all see the video. So I got a globe die as well. I'm sure they're all Tim Holt dies or Sizzix, whatever, Spellbinder or somebody. And the globe happens to, uh, you know, cut out that part of the uh, land masses. And if you just take a couple little snips, you can actually free that from the globe, which is what I did. Of course, I'm using a paper doll because y'all know I love the paper dolls, okay? It has nothing to do with whether it's vintage or not vintage. I just love the paper dolls. And I was just thinking this morning, the date of this voiceover, that wouldn't it be nice if they started making, of course, you got copyright issues and they're probably not old enough. If I'm not old enough to be, fall under the, um, the copyright fair use thing, <laughs> then pictures from the 70s aren't either, okay? Just saying. But wouldn't that be kind of fun? You start getting some of those colorized photographs from the 60s and 70s and maybe 80s and 90s even because you know all of those are back in the 1900 y'all we're in the 2000s now so miscellaneous ephemera i have some butterflies in a ziploc baggie it's maybe not a brand name ziploc but anyway and I found two that were of similar, not really similar. They both have a pop-up art, 
pop dot already in them so that's what i used one on one one on the other uh the washi postage stamp i got from amazon came on rolls washi tape roll I, I will not get them again because they don't tear off very good and you lose the stamp thing. So we got a, a, a journaling card, a tag, a world. I had a couple of slides laying around. They are blank. I'm sending the uh, swap people a couple of labels they can use if they want to. And here's where we're going to actually do the reveal. And we took the... Um, put autofocus on so it gets a little wonky and that's just the way it goes i'm showing you the pretty paper because i think it's pretty these two happen to be out of the peach colored paper and that was just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and i cut it at um five and a quarter each one at five and a quarter and then i squared it up by going five and a quarter again and that's why i got the leftover piece for the slide in tag any hoots i'm including a uh an artist trading card on the swap ones because you know just because i could so i did and uh, the uh card lottery one card lottery ones will have just a little edge piece uh no globe but they get an image and stuff like that so lucky card lottery winners Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what my burrito swap partner send to me. I'm excited. It's my first burritos, y'all. Journal burritos. Anyway, stuff them. Stuff them good. You could also tie a string around it. Mm -hmm. But like I said, if you're going to ink and you're going to sew them on the sewing machine, do that before you glue them shut. Okay? All right. So, what time is it? Photo montage. <laughs> um, I know I've said it before. List of ingredients in the description box below the video. And uh, let me just say, I so appreciate each and every one of you. Yes, I do. Your valuable time because it is valuable. It's precious. Yeah, I like your kind comments. I answer all comments unless they're trolls. And then you just get, you know, blocked and or reported. <laughs> your likes, did I say that? Your shares. Did you share any videos today of your friends? And uh, subscriptions, yeah, because, you know, if I'm talking to you, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Aren't those pretty? Thanks for watching. And happy arting, y'all.